Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on leveling. Let us read the question. The following consecutive readings were taken with a leveling instrument at intervals of 20 meter. The instrument was shifted after 4th and 8th readings. The last reading was taken on a benchmark of reduced level 110.2 meter. Find the reduced level of all the points. The instrument was shifted after 4th and 8th readings. This is the 4th reading and this is the 8th reading. These two readings are the 4 sides. I have marked both of them in red color. We know that the last reading also should be the 4 side. So there are 3 4 sides. If there are 3 4 sides, there should be 3 back sides. In the previous problems, the first reading was taken on the benchmark. But here, the last reading was taken on the benchmark. This problem also will be very easy. If we use the rise and fall method, we know that the first reading should be the back side. And we know that this is the fore side. So these two readings should be the intermediate sides. Let us enter the back side, then the intermediate sides. And then the foresight. After the foresight, the next reading should be the back sight, but it should be in the same station of the foresight, that is the fourth station. This is the back sight and this is the foresight. So these two readings are the intermediate sights. Let us enter the intermediate sights and then the foresight. After the foresight, this reading should be the back sight but it should be on the same station of the foresight. This is the back side and this is the last reading. So it should be the foresight. So these two readings should be the intermediate sides. Let us enter them and then the foresight. The reduced level of the last point or the last station is given as 110.2. In the fourth and seventh stations, we have both the back side and fore side. So these two stations are the turning points. Now we are going to find the rise and fall. Before finding, we can make the circles like this so that it will be easy for us. From the back side to the fore side, we have to make the circles roughly. This is the back side and this is the fore side. So we can make like this. This is the new back side and this is the fore side. So we can make like this. This is the new back side and this is the fore side. So we can make a circle like this. We know that to find the rise and fall from the back side to the fore side, we have to subtract the readings one by one. If we get a positive value, we have to write in the rise. And if we get a negative value, we have to write in the fall. First, we have to take this circle from the back side and to the fore side, we have to subtract one by one. This minus this, we will get a positive value, so it should be in rise. This minus this, we will get a positive value, so it should be in the rise. And then this minus this, we will get a negative value, so it should be fall. Now let us do for the second circle. From the back side to the fore side, we have to subtract one by one. This minus this, we will get a positive value, so it should be rise. This minus this, we will get a positive value, so it should be rise. And then this minus this, we will get a positive value, so that also should be rise. Now we have to take the last circle. This minus this, we will get a negative value, so it is in fall. This minus this, we will get a negative value, so it is fall. And this minus this, we will get a negative value, so that is also fall. In the previous numericals, the reduced level for the first point was given, but in this one, the reduced level for the last point is given. In this case, we have to find the reduced levels from the bottom to the top. In the previous problems, if it was a rise, we have added, and if it was a fall, we have subtracted, but here it is totally different. To find the reduced level of previous station, if it is rise, we have to subtract from the reduced level and if it is fall, we have to add with the reduced level. Let us find the reduced level of station number 9. 
in the station number 10 we have fall so we have to add with this reduced level so that we will get the reduced level in the station number 9 let us find the reduced level in the station number 8 in the station number 9 we have the fall so we have to add this with the reduced level so that we will get the reduced level in the station number 8 now let us find the reduced level in the station number 7 here also we have fall so we have to add this uh, fall with this so that we will get this reduced level let us find the reduced level in the station number 6 here we have rise so we have to subtract the rise by this reduced level so that we will get this let us find the reduced level in the station number 5 here also we have rise so we have to subtract the rise by this reduced level so that we will get this value let us find the reduced level in the station number 4 here also there is rise so we have to subtract the rise by this reduced level so that we will get this let us find the reduced level in the station number 3 here we have fall so with this reduced level we have add this so that we will get this let us find the reduced level in the station number 2 here we have rise so we have to subtract the rise by this so that we will get this let us find the reduced level in the station number 1 here we have rise so we have to subtract the rise by this so that we will get this now let us find the summations when we add all of these we will get a summation of the back side and when we add all of these we will get the summation of foresight and when we add all of the rise we will get a summation of rise and when we add all of the fall we will get the summation of fall now let us apply the check the summation of foresight difference the summation of backside will be equal to the summation of fall difference the summation of rise and that will be equal to the difference of first oral and last oral for all three we are getting the same value hence okay now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video